so today we are going to discuss the carotid triangle so we will draw a simple diagram of the carotid triangle we are drawing the boundaries of the carotid triangle so this is the triangle and one muscle will attach to the hyoid bone this is the hyoglossus muscle posteriorly we have the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle above or superiorly we have the posterior belly of the digastric antero inferiorly we have the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle so these are the boundaries of the triangle this muscle is the hyoglossus muscle now we are drawing the contents of the triangle this is the main content internal jugular vein and another very important artery that is the common carotid artery so this is the common carotid artery in the triangle it will bifurcate so artery lies anterior to the vein so this is external carotid artery will give some branches in the carotid triangle that we are drawing some from the anterior some from the posterior and one from the medial part of the external carotid artery so this blue color structure internal jugular vein lying posterior to the artery this is the common carotid artery that will divide into the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery so these are the branches from the external carotid artery facial artery supplying the face superior thyroid artery supplying the thyroid gland superior thyroid artery and one is the lingual artery supplying to the tongue this is the ascending pharyngeal artery from the medial part from the posterior part we have the occipital artery these are the branches given in the triangle one very important now we have in between the artery and vein this is known as the vagus nerve this is the vagus nerve it lies within the carotid sheath along with the artery and vein one nerve is emerging anterior to the vagus nerve and going toward the hyoglossus muscle one nerve is going backward or posteriorly and supplying the sternocleidomastoid muscle anterior nerve is crossing the internal carotid artery external carotid artery and loop of the lingual nerve this is known as the hypoglossal nerve posterior side we have sternocleidomastoid muscle and this is the spinal accessory nerve
one nerve is descending from the hypoglossal nerve descending along the internal carotid artery common carotid artery and making a loop then going along the internal jugular vein this is known as the ansa cervicalis and it lies anterior to the carotid sheath and small oval structure which lies near the bifurcation of the common carotid artery this is known as the carotid body supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve vagus nerve and sympathetic chain another one dilatation at the terminal branch of the common carotid artery this is known as the carotid sinus it is also supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve vagus nerve and sympathetic trunk carotid sinus it act as a baroreceptor it will help in the regulation of the blood pressure carotid body act as a chemoreceptor it means it will help in respond to the o2 level co2 level and ph level of the blood thank you